Greetings and salutations all, this is Spectrum here, and today we're going to start a run-through of Uplink OS, a complete graphical overhaul of the 2001 hacking simulator Uplink. Originally released by British developers Intro Version Software, Uplink is hands down one of the best hacking simulators on the market. Available both through Steam and on GOG for around $10 Canadian, it is a solid buy, especially if you can find it on sale. The game has long enjoyed an active modding community, but recently, in late March, Uplink OS came out and really gave the game what looks to be a beautiful and well-maintained update. The mod is available for both the GOG and Steam versions of the game, and you can find a link to the mod DB page down below in the description. This will be my first playthrough of the new mod, and at this point I'll mention that vanilla saves are not compatible with the Uplink OS mod, so we'll be starting a fresh game. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and start off our hacking adventures. Alright, so let's do this. Connecting to the Uplink Public Access Server. Welcome to Uplink Public Access Server. Uplink Corporation maintains the largest list of freelance agents in the world. We have operated for the last decade with a flawless record of satisfied customers and successful security experts. Our company acts as an anonymous job center, bringing corporations together with agents who can work for them. We also provide rental of essential gateway computers to all agents, which allow unparalleled security in a high-risk environment. You are here because you wish to join this company. Yes, I am. About us. Literally just the same thing we read, okay? So, register as an agent. Your uplink membership package includes a gateway computer at a secure location. You will connect to this machine from your home computer when you are working for uplink. You can have it upgraded at a later stage if necessary. A low interest loan of 3,000 credits with Uplink International Bank to get you started. Access to our bulletin board system, the usual place for Uplink agents to find work. You will be officially rated as an Uplink agent and we will monitor your progress. As your rating increases, you will find new avenues of work become available. Alright, so basic progression so username essence spectrum password um i think we'll go with one two three four super secure no one ever guesses one two three four so how my luggage has stayed safe all these years all right so please choose a location close to you Uplink Corporation has offices all around the world. Please select a location near... Ooh. Please select a nearby location for your gateway. You will dial into this location when you use Uplink. So this is kind of cool. It's nice to see that they've got some oceanic representation down there in Sydney. Got uh, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Moscow, Moscow, London. All right. Do we got? Do we get? Do we have a Canadian city? Chicago? No. And New York? No. Unfortunately, not. So normally I would go with New York. I am just above the New York State here in Ontario, but I find that whether it's a Twitch server or a League of Legends server, Chicago is the uh, preferred location for latency for me and. Even though this is an offline single player game, I like to uh, give it as much role play as possible. Registration is now taking place. A part of your membership, as part of your membership, we will assign you a gateway computer system in your chosen server room. This will act as your jumping off point to the rest of the net. When you next log in, you will connect directly from your home computer to this gateway machine and from there to the rest of the world. Should any of your actions be traced back to your gateway, Uplink Corporation will disavow any knowledge of your actions and will destroy your account. Your gateway machine will also be destroyed. 
rental of your gateway computer will cost 300 credits a month. So that's good to know if we uh, if we get any backtracks or uh, anybody catches on to our nefarious deeds. Uh, Uplink's got us covered. They're gonna destroy all the evidence. And you know, three hundred dollars a month to uh, rent a service space that is, you know, self cleaning. That's that's not too bad. Connecting to the gateway. Welcome to the new Uplink OS. We are just finished setting. We are just finishing setting up your personal gateway. This will not take more than a few minutes. Hey, let's go. So there we have it. We have successfully created our account, and uh, looks like it's time to start getting on with our first mission. All right. So, first mission. Well, I guess we gotta click through this first. Uplink operating system successfully started. All right, so I know I said that this was a complete graphical update and I may not have really mentioned it before as we were going through the creation of our account. In part, honestly, that's because I don't remember that process from the uh, pre-modded version of the game, but I have got to tell you that this this is a beautiful thing this it is it well i'm actually i'm going to take five seconds right now i'm going to throw up a picture of what the uh what the whole situation used to look like here and as you can see the difference is mind-blowing so yes this uplink os uh, definitely the graphical update that uplink needed so, that being said, let's move on to the actual tutorial mission, Sally. Welcome to Uplink. Your details have been entered into your account. Congratulations, you are now an officially rated Uplink agent. We recommend you complete the Uplink test mission before you attempt any real work. Your first stopping off point should be the Uplink internal services system. Once there, log in and click on help, followed by getting started. You can also go there at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard. Good luck, Uplink international services systems. Codes included. Name, SS Spectrum, code 1234. You know, for a, uh, Covert clandestine hacking organization. You really think they uh, a little bit more security than just sending my email or my uh, login code in a basic email. But uh, what can you do? So let's do that first. F1 connecting to uplink internal services. Getting started. All right, so this looks like it's gonna be our basic how to magoo section so let's rock and roll introductions this section of the doc of the help document is designed to help new uplink agents with their first few hours online so we will start with the uplink test mission you will notice the mission has already been given to you that'll be right here in missions um, this mission is the perfect opportunity to test yourself against real computer defenses without risking jail time. We will go over the basic equipment needed, how to do the mission, and how to acquire more missions afterwards. Exciting stuff. So the basic tools. The basic tools that you will require for the uplink test mission will also be required for almost every other type of mission. So you will not be wasting your money when you buy these. Oh ho! gotta buy the tutorial mission equipment that's rough we recommend you purchase these tools immediately as they will be essential password breaker version 1.0 you will need this to break through password protection screens log deleter version 1.0 for removing traces of your actions well that's yeah yeah that seems me well, I guess you need the password breaker before you could even get in to uh, leave a trace. So, okay, I was going to say, that seems like the first and foremost thing I would want. 
log deleter, but I get it. So, and then we've got Trace Tracker version 2.0. This will allow you to monitor your communication lines so you will know when you are about to be traced. We recommend version 2.0 for beginners as it will show you the percentage of your connection that has been traced. You can purchase all of these items with your starting loan from the software sales section of this site. All right, so the connection. The Uplink test mission requires you to connect to the Uplink test machine and steal a file. You should not connect directly to it. They would be able to trace you very quickly. Instead, you should bounce our call around the world. The yes. Open the communications map by clicking on the world map top right. That's uh, right here. This is our world map. Click on a few other nodes to bounce through them. Bounce through at least three other nodes before the uplink test machine. Click on the connection button to connect to the target computer. Now would be a good time to start up your trace tracker. Click the software menu in the bottom left. Looking like this, no apps found. This tool will help. This tool will tell you if you are being traced. Once you start hacking, you'll have a couple of minutes before they trace you and cut you off. In the real world, this would get you in trouble. <laughs> in the real world, public service announcement, illegally hacking into a server could get you in trouble. Well, at least they can't, at least you can't say that they didn't warn you. All right, password breaking. Once you connect to the uplink test machine, you will see the main login screen. Since you do not have security clearance to use this machine, you will need to hack through this screen. Passwords can be broken in one of two ways, either using a dictionary hacker, which tries every English word from a larger dictionary, or a password cracker, which takes longer but can break non-English word passwords. Run your password breaker and target the password box. It will take around 10 seconds to break this password. The security is low, and they will begin tracing you immediately. Stealing. Once you are in the system, you should have no trouble accessing the file server and downloading the file you need. Use the file copier and download the file uplink test data into your memory banks. In many cases, this might not be easy. You may find that firewalls or proxy systems are running, which will prevent you from just copying files easily. You will learn how to bypass these in time. Well, that's good to know. Once you got the file, disconnect from the system as soon as possible. You can now send it to the employer by clicking on reply in the mission screen and receive your payment, which in this case will be zero. It was a test after all. So, all right, I, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that it's gonna come up later, but uh, at some point before disconnecting from your system, it's always helpful to actually run that log deleter that we were discussing earlier. But, oh, here we go, hide. The final step in any hack is to cover your tracks. Access the log banks and run your log deleter. Remember to keep an eye on the trace tracker. Locate the logs that you have created from your actions, especially the ones that detail where your connection came from, and target your log deleter on them. The log deleter will be, ha <laughs> ha. The logs will be deleted, but will leave a clear marker behind. More advanced versions, the log deleter can cover your tracks better, but this will be sufficient for now. In the real world of hacking, you would probably not delete the logs on the target machine. 
you would not have time. Instead, you would bounce your connection through a system on which you have admin access. After the hack, you would connect to that system and remove those logs in safety, breaking the chain of logs between yourself and the target. Interesting. So, I, uh, not gonna lie, little surprise that they left that little tidbit in there. Although this is a hacking simulator, I didn't think that they would... Meh. I suppose it adds to the roleplay a little bit. Um, all right, carrying on. Missions. The uplink test mission is the easiest mission you will ever attempt. Once you feel good enough to connect to the uplink internal services machine and go to the mission section, you will see some missions that are already available. You may be able to auto accept some of them and you will need to contact the employers to accept others. As your rating increases, more and more missions will appear here. You will find that you will need to upgrade your hardware and software before the more complex missions can be attempted. That's, that seems, you know, fairly intuitive, makes sense. You know, we got, a, we got the basic free level computer now. I, I can understand why we would need to uh, up it later, so. That's getting started finished. All right. All right, so we could go spend the next little bit and go through all the rest of the help tips, but I have actually played the game before, so I'm not quite as worried about any of these. And when it does come time, if we run into any problems while we're going through it, we can always come back to the site and check out anything that's pertinent at that time. Although seeing this, I will take a quick minute and go through this because it seems like it'll be helpful for myself. So, control O, these are the hotkeys you know, by and by. And so we've got control O, which will open the app menu. We've got control E to open the email window, control F is our file manager, and control L to give us our LAN view. F1, return to this help directory. F2, open the user status window. What, is, what does that mean? User. Hey, it's the user status. Hey, finances. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at the bank I pay. Don't look at the bank I pay. But uh, yeah, no, 3,000 credits. All right. Doing good. Alright, um, Q, W, E, R, game, pause, speeds, okay, alt L, alt L to log out, and alt Q to kill the uplink OS. You can also sign the hotkeys to the apps by hovering over one of them in the app menu and pressing control and a number. Oh, that's actually, uh, that's actually really cool, and I just want to, Unless it is absolutely escaping my memory, this is a new feature and one that I am very, very happy to see. So, all right, those are the hotkeys. This is the help section. And so now that we've kind of read a little bit about the mission and how to go about completing missions in the game and just about how to use the game in general, let's go ahead and take a look at this basic Starting mission from the Uplink Corporation. Pay zero credits. Uplink test mission. Steal data from a file server. Gain access to the Uplink test machine by breaking the outer security layer. Access the file server and download the target file Uplink test data. Remove any traces of your hack. Return the data to us at internal at uplink.net, uplink test machine. All right, so before we start our first nefarious little hack, we need some applications. So we need a password breaker. Hey. Purchase 
The product password breaker has already been downloaded and installed on your gateway. Okay, so now that we have the password breaker, let's move on. We've got HUD tools, and these I imagine will be used in the more advanced missions as we start to need to do things like analyze our connections or randomize them. So not really much in here for us right now. Moving on. Bypass is again, this is, uh, this, these come in handy for the later missions as we progress up the ranks, but again, not really something we need right now. So that brings us over into security and we need a log deleter. We have four versions, but for the, uh, well, there we go. For the sake of the tutorial mission, we'll go ahead and purchase the first one. And you can see that's gone ahead and shown up for us over here. And let's see, what else do we need? The trace tracker. All right has already been downloaded. Beautiful. So let's double check here. We need to be able to connect. We need to be able to delete and we need to be able to watch. So It looks to me like we are prepared to disconnect from the gateway and start our hack. So we are here. We need to get to here. And so this, this begins the, the bread and butter of what it is to do uplink. We start here and we could do a direct line to the machine. But as it was saying earlier, that's just asking for problems. So instead, we look at the nodes we know about. We know about the uplink public access server. So we're going to remove that from our pathway. So connect first to there. And we're going to pop up here. What's this? International Bank. Why not? We have an account there. So that will increase the trace time. Pop down to the intern NIC. Not sure what that is just yet, but there we go drop on down to internal services system and then complete our path so that's going to take us around all the nodes we currently know including the two that we have accounts with to increase our trace time before we go ahead and connect to that we're going to save this so that in the future we can go ahead and bring it up because as we gain more and more and more nodes we don't want to be connecting the manual we want to be able to load up our saved connection pathways. So let's begin. Connect. Uplink. Welcome to the Uplink test machine. This will be your first opportunity to hack into a real computer system with real defenses. There is no point in trying to hack a real computer system until you can do the Uplink test in your sleep. You will be traced during your attempts, so remember to monitor the communication lines. However, no action will be taken against you should you be traced. Hint, never connect directly to your target server. Bounce your connection around the world. It will make you much harder to track and give you longer to complete your work. Remember that you will leave logs on the computer as you use as relays, which can be traced back to you. Ideally, your connection should use a computer which allows you ease and risk-free log access so you can erase your tracks without fear of punishment. Start the test. Okay, so here we go. Time to go ahead and start up the track tracers. So, as you can see up here, we've got a showing of everything that's currently running. I like keeping that minimized though. So we've got our tracer tracing and the 
password breaker. Move that down, keep everything nice and visible. Click in here and Bob is your uncle. All right, so we've got it going and the trace is on. Access the file server, so we need the test data. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now this is new, I've never tried popping it out before, but I like this. It's a nice representation of what's going on. Really does get your blood boiling. It's like, oh my, yes, beep, beep, beep machine. Let's go get that going. So what do we got up in here? Well, that sounds like it's becoming a little bit more of a thing. Let's go into view logs here. We're going to remove that. disconnect away all right so that should be everything and luckily because this is just the test mission we have a little bit more time what we can do is go ahead and load up that connection again in this situation it's not as important it actually brings us to the same page but if we go in we actually now already have the name so we can just click there Login, tracing again, view the logs. So you can see here we've deleted this, but all of our previous actions are still available. So what we're going to do is connect, delete anything that says from or to. So connection established from. Gotta go. And so now we're just removing everything because I like to be as thorough as possible. And just under the wire, we've got it all deleted down. Now then, this was our full thing. So what we're actually going to do is back, ooh, not what I meant to do. Get out of there. So this was the last stop we made. We're going to connect to that. So normally, huh, I didn't really think this through. Normally you'd want your last connection, your link to be something that you yourself have hacked so that you can go back in your administrative rights and remove everything. Now, again, this is the tutorial mission, so it shouldn't matter too much. Let's go in here, click on mission. We'll reply to this, attach the file they asked for, the uplink test data, and send. So, there we go. New emails. Congrats. Mission complete. <clears throat> Congratulations on your success. Transfer Funds transferred, zero credits. We knew that that was going to happen. Thank you for working for uplink. This is an automated response. Please do not reply. So we'll go ahead and delete that. 
And then here we go, the second message. Congratulations, Agent S's Spectrum. You have reached the next uplink rating. Your rating is now beginner. Well, great for us. And so that concludes our tutorial mission. I hope everyone has enjoyed themselves. I know I certainly have, and I'm looking forward to the uh, next time we get together to play a little bit more Uplink OS. So, uh, I have been S's Spectrum, and if you've enjoyed what you've seen here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be alerted the next time we go ahead and uh, kick this off. Thanks once again, and uh, have yourselves a great afternoon.